This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a new homemade tool and we're going to use this old fire extinguisher as the base. What we're going to make today is an engine pre-oiler. For people that don't know, a pre-oiler is a unit that pressurizes the engine with oil before you fire it up. Say you buy an engine from a junkyard or you just rebuilt an engine. So this particular fire extinguisher, you can see, already has a gauge on it, which is nice. And this is the type that already has the air valve right there, because you have to pressurize that system to force the oil out. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to convert that over to a pre-oiler. The first thing we're going to do is take this part right here, the 3 8 bobbed piece with the quarter inch pipe and we'll take a little bit of our Teflon tape and we'll put that on the threads Take it, this, screw that in there, and tighten her up. Next thing we did is we cut the end of the hose for the um, fire extinguisher, this piece right here. Cut that off. Now we'll take that 5 8 hose clamp. Put that on the hose. Then we'll take this piece with the 3 8 bobbed end. Let's make sure that clamp is backed off. Okay, now let's see if we can get that clamp on there. This 5 8 clamp is a little tight. Just need a fraction more. Okay. Tighten her up. There we go. She's all on. Now to connect our pre-oiler to the engine, we're going to use the fitting that we had in our fuel pressure gauge set. And if we go down here, you'll see that I installed that fitting onto a quick disconnect. And that's where the oil pressure switch was located. So now when we take our hose from our pre-oiler we can just hook it just like that. 
and it will be ready to go. We're going to add our oil into our container. Uh, this engine right here takes four quarts. So we're going to put in four quarts. But we're not going to try to, when we get to the end, we don't want to inject air into the engine. Now we're going to hook it up to the adapter on the engine. There is an air valve right here. And so we have our air regulated at 20 PSI. So we're going to pressurize that now. You can actually see the gauge right there. Well, you could, but this one has a. Yeah. That gauge goes up to. Up here is about 80 pounds, so that'd be 40 in the middle. That's about 20 on the gauge. All right. Let's pressurize. Now what you can do is after you get a little oil there you could turn the engine over. Which I'm going to do right now. Okay. Hit it again. You know it would be nice if it had a little glass sight down the side so we could tell when we're getting low on oil. Well, we're getting down there. Let's see if anything's showing up on the dipstick here. Well, let me give you a better view of what's going on here. Okay, that's enough. We'll take the oil out of that and uh, top it off and check our dipstick. Before we disconnect anything, we'll relieve the air pressure of the tank. The air pressure is relieved from the tank. We'll take that off. We'll probably lose a little oil. Yep, let's get that pressure switch in. in here I think we're getting this close enough right. we got one quart so 
we put three quarts in the engine. That's good. So what we'll do now is um, we'll put the rest of this oil in the engine and that should bring it right up to where it belongs. So that's all there is to using a homemade pre-oiler to pre-oil your engine.